Hello and welcome back to Caves of Code. We are, um, we're on a, what, Java roams out of a feeling range. You are no longer attuned. That's fine. We'll, we'll, we'll go back to Java one day. You discover a layer. Yeah, I'll check out a layer. Ooh, psychic presence. Now, this is, a this is scary. Because now, uh, now that I have, like, a ridiculous amount of glimmer... Um, the psychic hunters I am bound to meet are gonna be far more spicy. And I'm also bound to fight more of them. Legendary rank Gershling. Oh, there they are. There's a, this a Unimax. Extra dimensional Unimax and Esper from the Immortal Order. They are tough. Now, please, uh... You know appreciate for a moment the fact that it says tough considering i am w what level i am at that means it is um technically like above our level slightly but anyway we're gonna go ahead and sunder their mind maybe um your attack fails to penetrate them so that's oh no we, we, we we've got them in our mental mantle grip um they are not necessarily taking all of our hits though someone oh there's two of them also but you know we're gonna go ahead uh they have they are temporal dilating which is a bit spicy because um they're they're gonna have oh yeah they they've got some chops we're gonna back away from them for just a second i don't want to I don't really want to fight them on their terms. I do want to fight them though. It'll, if anything, it's, it's in, interesting, you know? So there's the Unimax. Let's go ahead and um, put on our force bubble. Whoops. You know, the nice thing, like, I know that this is, this weapon I'm using is fairly grotesque, but at the very least it does like build up. Like the number of times you dis dismember something, uh, it really adds up and they can just like die from bleeding. Uh, we can sunder their mind again. Although I don't know if that seems to be doing all that much damage. We've got the other Unimax to our uh, west. Remember, we can just like force bubble forever. We really do not have to fight them on on uh, their terms by any means. Although their uh, disintegration attack does worry me a little bit. Your face is dismembered. Hmm. So um, that's a thing. I think they bounced back my own light attack back at me hmm um what's a good way of fighting you're carrying too much to move what am i carrying uh what did i drop that made made that happen oh kessel face let's put kessel face back on Yeah, I guess I had that coming to me, didn't I? Um, we can sunder them again, but I don't know if that's really the play because it doesn't do very much damage. Let's put on force bubble back on. Maybe I should fight them at melee. Although uh, their disintegration is probably still dicey. Uh, I won't lie, I'm a little bit concerned. Let's go ahead and use a Uber Nostrum just to grow our face back. Like, we can continue to just shoot them. Like, if we get dismembered, that sucks. I don't know if there's a chance that we could get decapitated. That would be really bad. 
Like, if there's a chance we could accidentally de decapitate ourselves. One thing I could do is uh, stop using our jacked nano chain laser and um, start using our linear cannon. Because at the very least, I'm pretty sure this isn't a light based attack. It does actually shoot bullets. So I, I think that that would do better to hurt them. Torrent of life sweeps away and uh, we regrew our face, I assume. Yes, we did. Um, what does this one do? Oh yeah, lays. The nice thing about lays is that um, I'm pretty sure it means we have uh, we have the same ability to potentially uh, bounce attacks back at them, like light-based attacks. All right, I think that this was the correct play. Um, definitely we did more to them. There's a Unimax corpse. I don't know if those are of any value. Uh, let's put force bubble back on. Also, I'm going to put ambient light at the bottom. Uh, since this is the first time I'm using this, it's kind of messing up our uh, our bar a little bit. We could laze them, but they, they can just bounce their laze back at us. I do think that this was the correct play because I don't think that they can bounce that attack back at us and so, you know, they're just kind of stuck taking our hits. Injured, wounded, badly wounded, dead. 900 XP. We do for our trouble uh, get some extra dimensional parts. And I know that we're going to be greatly over encumbered with that. Um, so let me just see if there's anything I can disassemble. Uh, I don't want to disassemble this, but I think I think we should. I could just go home. Like I could go to Eid Freehold and drop some stuff off. We probably should actually do that. We can come back here later. Let's come. Let's go to eat freehold for a moment. Wait, what? With hostiles nearby. Excuse me. Did you mean that guy? You sure did. Did you mean that dead guy? You sure about that, bud? You sure about that? Um. All right, let's uh, let's throw some stuff in our chest. I guess they don't need their refractive six fingered Zeachrome gloves. We certainly don't need that. Um, I would like to have a look at the Psychic Meridian, but the thing is, is that it's it's a headpiece, and so it might not be as good. I kind of want to keep the orbital veil of Shewan Homestead just just in case. Just in case what? Um, just just in case. We don't know feathered. We do know metered. Uh, we do know reinforced. And the rest of... Those are basically trade goods. I really should start carrying some of these things. Uh, I guess we have some bear and frog meat. We don't need those. This uh, extra dimensional flawless greatsword is interesting to me, but I, I think ultimately it's not very useful. I would, I would like to be wrong about that, but I don't think I am. Entropy cyst. That is really fun. Okay. Um, so that'll put us under weight. Do you want to make a quick trip? Uh, I guess I guess I should have kept some of those things because I'm going to do a quick look through uh, all of our, our lads. I think we have enough AI micro units. We, we do. I wouldn't mind having some more meta crystals, though. Okay, well, there it is. Uh, you might not have seen it. I, I did a, a very small cut there. I wanted to go and grab uh, my trade goods, or at least a couple trade goods. I was tempted to just, like, do all of this off camera, but eh. Let's, let's do it real quick. Um... Let me see here. Uh, this is always a little bit tricky. 
let's yeah we're, we're gonna we're gonna basically we're only buying meta crystals i don't oh mecha power core what is that is that what i think it is hot cage of thermo nuclear torn is thrusted trust with semiconductors there are indentations in the casing for assisted transport what is this i don't think i've ever seen that one before uh, i kind of wouldn't mind checking that out I've got my plastifer goods on the off chance. I mean, that works out real well. Um, all right. This is what I do off camera, by the way. Oh, handy nook, nuke. We don't have, uh, we don't have that one yet. I guess I'm buying more things than just uh, meta crystals. I guess I will also buy some AI microcontrollers. Why not? Um, we're not going to sell the, like, Temporal Fugue, even though I'm not going to use it as much, uh, is still Temporal Fugue, so we could sell the Extra Dimensional Antimatter Cell. Sure. Um, although I guess I te we're technically selling an 8-bit there, but we are selling it at a major profit, so it works out too perfectly. I'm overburdened. How did that happen? Um, I am carrying like far too much corpse goods right now. We should learn feathered um, Learn handy nuke and mecha power core. I Don't know what that is. That's a that's a weird one uh, Nulling Sniper rifle nothing too good there Fitted with cleats meh Nothing going on there. That's the one. Uh, this is the one I just looked at, right? I do that sometimes. I should just really... It doesn't help, but um, coloring them all with crayons works pretty well uh, to just to make them look a little bit different. I did it. I did it with Tilly. I should do it with Bep as well. We have a small stone. I don't know what this could be, honestly. So why not? I will buy it. It's it, it's definitely a recoiler. It's probably just a recoiler. Let's like sell all of this. It's a probably a recoiler for something that doesn't matter, or uh, a recoiler with some kind of extra effect on it. Forgotten ruined surface recoiler. Okay, I mean that's interesting. Uh, did I check out this one as well? Uh, whatever. We do have some, um, we should have some gems in here. Oh, there's nothing in that. Okay, well, we do have some gems to put in that. Let's do that real quick. Actually, really, just the one. Do, 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 do. May as well, uh, get this done now. Take all. Alright, so we're done with Bep. We didn't get as many meta crystals as I would have liked. I wonder, like, does Apothecary sell anything good? They they sell some tonics. I just wonder if maybe they occasionally sell like a uh, neutron flux or something. Probably not. Um, phase cannon. So I I, I kind of wouldn't mind having visage. I think we can make visage. I don't know. I'll just buy it. It's not like we're hurting for cash. Truly, we're not. the The hardest thing for money is like having uh, selling the exact right thing to make things equal out a little bit. Um, metamorphic polygel, as I've said many times, I will always buy a metamorphic polygel. Um, we could buy a long uh, another Zeta Chrome longsword, but I don't really see the point. We'll sell these two data discs. Oh, we have to make up quite a lot actually here. Let's uh, sell this frog meat and bear meat. Um. Hmm. So, uh, by the way, what we're doing today is I, I would really like to make more progress with the Slynth quest. And so we're going to go and check out all of our villages. All of the ones that we have. 
and um, see if there's any that we can kind of like nudge a little bit. Um, I know there's a couple of quests that we need to get done. I, I can't stand them, but um, we could do that. And then whatever, whatever, uh, whatever villages that we have enough reputation, like we were just, just barely like shy of 800. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and use Schrodinger pages to make, you know, to, to push us over 800. Um, and, um, powered exoskeleton. I don't, I've never tried, I've never used this. I don't know how it works. I really need to like spend some time figuring out how the exoskeleton works. But yeah, basically we're, we're, we're just going to like, you know, um, not exploit, but like kind of just put ourselves on good 800 reputation terms with, uh, a, a few villages the we you know there's daughters of exile and then villagers of ezra those are important for making friends with um for the slinth also kyakuka but they don't have a quest so we just have to kind of get lucky with kyakuka um this is the last one i think uh yeah we not not so great tillies to be honest our tillies were not not really great Okay, so now that we've done that, um, this is the only one of the... Let me, let me, let's see what we've done with this length. Suba Ball and Villages of Durishur. So, or Dursashur. So what we can do is just go ahead and turn those ones off. So Dursashur is off. Um, and Suga Ball. Where is Suga Ball? Oh, there are all, all of the ones that are marked at the top. Super ball, there it is. So we're gonna unmark those and then we're gonna go check out the other ones. Um, what is above us? Oh, flaming tar pits. Did I, or I think I already checked those ones out. What's this? Legendary shoemaker. I really should just go and do this real quick because this stupid shoemaker has been, um, like marked for far too long. Carrying too much to move. Yeah, that, that happens after we've killed something like that. Oh, we've got a uh, blood gradient hand vacuum. Um, so I should sh mod this with jacked. And I guess nav. And I guess polarized. I don't think it's very heavy. Oh, it's eight pounds. That's actually heavier than I thought. And then I want to put that on... Um, replace sun and moon with that and that'll basically serve as like our second slot unless i can think of something better or unless we get an extra dimensional thing that gives us something really good light manipulation is good it is very good but like um i don't think it's good enough like we have really good ranged uh, attacks so i just don't think that a mutation based or even like ego based uh range attack is going to be good enough to you know make up the difference also our, our uh, i'm just i'm just uh playing with the idea of like using this tri hologram bracelet you'll ex have to excuse me oh, we really just like should drop off oh let's just go to um sorry i'm all over the place right now Let's go to um, Barathrum study and drop off these parts. I don't think that all of those are going to count. One of those are ours, our own face, by the way. Uh, I don't think that anything else here is going to matter. We're, we're on the hunt for... Um, sun slag by the way in case you missed it and we're also on the hunt for um well that's really it in terms of the golem we're only trying to get sun slag why are we still lost like why are we instantly lost i should put that uh where's our other arm oh right arm has to be is taken up by visage 
Huh. Didn't know that. But I guess it takes... It, it basically makes... You know, it, it's the same thing as uh, Precinct Navigator in some ways. Could be wrong about that. Stop being lost. Stop being lost. Stop being lost, please. I would like to, um... Go and do something. I just want to go and check out this legendary shoemaker. They're not going to be useful, but... At the very least, we we can just, like, get rid of it. Wow, we're really lost still. <laughs> You're famished. Okay. Very tempted to uh, eat our the meal that lets us just remove negative status effect. I, I don't want to be lost anymore. We are really lost in Lake Hinnom. Regain our bearings. Thank you. Good lord. Okay. We are going to just pay this legendary shoemaker a visit. They're not going to be... Well, I guess we get some XP for doing that. Um. Uh, I guess uh, I was just wondering, did this legendary... Or did this sightless uh, novice of the sightless way try to attack us? But no. What is it? <laughs> okay. All right, so we're just get out of here, pig. We got some trash here. Is it really even like worth it anymore? Getting trash, getting secrets. What is like left in terms of uh, secrets? We're on like good terms with cannibals. That's bizarre. All right. Uh, you know what? Clear points. There. Hello, legendary shoemaker. What's your reputation like? Uh, dislike by Badles and Fellowship of Wardens. But that's okay. We're okay with that. I wish we could talk to any merchant and then, uh, have them have, make the, um, like, add the slinth to their, I don't know, merchant guild? <laughs> have some, have, uh, some some gossip hot goss and um i guess i'll buy some secrets here you're just gonna tell me rumors i really wish that the if you bought secrets from a legendary they would uh, like a legendary uh merchant they would tell you the location of other merchants but it doesn't seem like that's the case So they just gave us some more hot goss, but yeah, we're we're done with that. Um, merchants, we, we can finally unmark that after I don't know how many episodes I've had that marked. God, we have the absolute worst legendary merchants. I really need to find some other merchants because my goodness, that is just pitless. So what's in the river up there? What's what is that? So that's the sure. So let's go check out the sure. The sure um, is potentially um, a river. Sorry, not a river, a, a village. Got another hermit. You regain your bearings. Cool. Uh, let's just go up there. Know some ruins. Sure, we'll check out some ruins. Tapur. We check. We found. We found Tapur. Sense the memory of roasted boar smell. Sure. Uh, I guess uh, uh, we'll check this out considering we're on okay terms with uh, goat folk now. No points of interest. But we can... Oh, we can rob them blind. They seem to have... Um, just like blood. I love that their huts are holographic. More sense memory. Ooh, a psychic presence, oof. 
where are they? To our east. Oh, they're a dromad. Let's go ahead and sunder their mind. Oh, did moving... Yeah, our concentrate. I, I ruined our concentration by moving. Let's see what kind of shops they've got. They love their force field. They're likely to do some damage, uh, get hit by the haunts. Oh, wow, they, they actually blocked this off. Wow, 56 damage from our, uh, go folk haunt, huh? They seem to be gaining a lot of health. Oh, are they bonded with the haunt? Is that what happened there? Yeah, we're, like, not really doing any damage to them. Well, we are, but they're life bonding with all kinds of, uh, with the, 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 the residents. Hey, get, get back here. Don't be running away from me while I'm trying to kill you. Also, haunts, you guys are, like, really making this more difficult for me. Get back here. Oh my god. There we go. They died. What do they got? Anything cool? Uh, nope. No, nothing cool. Okay. Uh, let's check out some of these. Floating glow sphere. Arc winders are pretty good trade goods. No, I don't want to recharge it. I want to get it. Arc winders are genuinely, genuinely very valuable for their weight. All right. Back to what we were doing, which is going to this village. The sure. Nice. Uh, always, always nice to get another uh, village. So we've got a legendary croc. I'm not seeing too many legendaries this time, so it's going to be harder to uh, build up reputation. Do you have any rep? No, you don't. My services are available. Speak to Abelmoss. Okay. Um, that's the mayor plant. Uh, my services are available. What's your reputation like? Hated by the Hindran of Bela. Wow. Uh, everyone made enemies to the Hindran of Bela. Everyone. It's kind of wild to me. And it sucks because the, the, the village of Bela is one of the few that you can um, get the slint to join, right? Well, whatever. Let's uh, let's try it with this. Uh, we gained some more unshelled reptile rep. We've been really hurting. We're now disliked. Villages of Tad. We should. Uh, I don't like losing rep with other villages, but that's fine. We could. They would teach us empty the clip. Oh, we're actually on pretty good terms with uh, the sure. This is good. This is very good. My services are available. There was a time where my kind would spend our days putting roots down in the ground, but after having, uh, after hearing of the divinity of finding warm rocks for those who love warmth, we changed our habits and imagined new ceremonies. To our great sorrow, a uh, sorrow, uh, Chixta Yotl, uh, at Alta Hill lost our slender, venerable leafy vest. Would you seek it out and return it to us? It has been taken to Brown Shumish. Sure, I'll do that. I'm um, assuming that's a ruin. Brown Shumish, there it is. It is not too far away from here. Brown Shumish. We will, I will go and collect your venerable. Hey, you know, one thing, nice thing about uh, having crazy clairvoyance like this is, um, it makes it really easy to find these legendary items. I've had a couple of, uh, you know, moments where like, you can't find the legendary item to complete a quest because it's actually like behind a wall, like it's trapped in a little room behind a wall. And it's it makes it really um, extra unnecessarily difficult. What is happening there? There seems to be an enemy like right there is that a mimic no there's just nothing there that's weird 
Slender Venerable Leafy Vest. There it is. We have acquired it. Is there anything else to do here, do you think? I don't think so. Do not think so, so we shall leave. And uh, we'll go back. We'll go to our mayor, plant Abel Moss. Go the very long way, that's fine. Take your time. I found the ven slender, venerable, leafy vest. Complete the quest. 2000 XP. We're getting a little bit of XP for doing this. For doing these quests. Oh, we got... Apparently we completed the quest twice. Oh, no, I guess we completed it for finding the slender, venerable, leafy vest, and then we got another 2000 for returning it. Okay. Uh, only a hundred. I was kind of hoping for two hundred. Oh no! Why no? God. I was like, oh, advertisements for workshops, and then it was a legendary hatter and a, another legendary hatter. Why are all of our workshops so awful? I mean, I guess I'll look at these. Um, I actually might already know about those hatters. I know the other one, <clears throat> the data discs looked pretty good too, actually, so that, that kind of sucks. So, um, I already have a Schrodinger page ready to, ready to go. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna, um, do it for sure because we're pretty close to being on good terms with, you know, 800 reputation with sure So let's go to miscellaneous and do one of this entangled text and then we do um villagers of the sure we gain 185 oh just just barely shy i wonder if there's anyone here we can make friends with probably not what about the village tinker they might actually have another quest for us sometimes that's the case nope nope um, the warden never has any reputation. Uh, there's a legendary croc, but I don't think that they're going to count. Nope. So that means we have to spend a metamorphic polygel on this gosh forsaken village. And we're spending it on a Schrodinger page. And then we're using uh, the second Schrodinger page on Villagers of Deschur. There we go. Too bad we couldn't have gotten 215 the first time because that would have been exactly enough. Um, so now we'll talk to the mayor. Hey, uh, would you have the Slynth join us? Join you? Cool. So now we have five. Count them, five candidates for the slint which is fantastic I'm, I'm i'm excited about this we're actually making progress here good lord the slint are uh, it's a needy quest it is a very needy quest luckily i have like all the money in the world so i can and also like all of the merchants in the world so i can just like you know buy as many uh <laughs> metamorphic polygels as I need so having one Schrodinger page for like just a, a cool joker card like a wild card Schrodinger page it's one of the best things we could have found um I, it's, it's really hard to understate or overstate exactly how valuable that was like it's you know it is expensive doing it this way but it's it's a numbers game and we have like the numbers are on our side when it comes to metamorphic polygels they're not on our side when it comes to books we don't have a workshop for a book binder we you know so we need to we need to do some of these extra things like this what does this one do i'm wondering if we should cook with this extra dimensional sun-dried banana could be could be good you know what let's uh let's end this episode with that see see what happens cannot do that well you guys put a clay oven in the middle of water <sighs> all right well 
choose ingredients to cook with. I do believe this is a... Uh, This, this is a achievement. Cooking with extra dimensional. Looks like it's not appearing in our list. What about preserve exotic goods? No. Um, yeah, I don't, I don't see it. We could cook with cycle gland paste. Plus four quickness for the day. Uh, reveals a secret. Um, you learn to cook Nimrashem's rich cycle gland paste. Uh, that's not the secret we learned. Um, location of natural features. A gel weave. Wow. Big, big whoop. Um, well, I don't know. Maybe we could just eat this extra dimensional sun dried banana. I don't know what the deal is there. There's a, something to do with like cooking and eating something extra dimensional there's an achievement there but anyway if you're enjoying the series uh, definitely hit the like button we're, we're gonna go do another village on the next episode so i hope you'll join me then and i'll see you guys next time take it easy